broadcast live. When I'm 60 years old, I'll live in Cape Town on the beach and I'll die there. Not at 60 though. Because by then we'll have mad crazy medicine. We're going to live forever. <laughs> Flying cars, the legacy will live forever. No, at Straight least up. that's one thing you know. The legacy will live yeah, forever. Yeah, you yeah. know, um, Anati, for you, you you mix a lot of you mix a lot of African sounds with, with the music that you make. You know, yeah. um, how does that line resonate to you? Obviously, from an a, from AKA's perspective. Well, I don't know. I think it just comes naturally. You know, I don't really try to overthink it in that mm -hmm. aspect. You know, it's really like what resonates with me at, on a personal level and you know sonically and you know visually and mm -hmm. creatively emotionally like you know metaphysically yeah. Sure. yeah that sort of vibe you know yeah, this guy's deep <laughs> he's deep dog yeah I'm just so <laughs> imagine, <laughs> making, imagine making a whole album with this guy <laughs> <laughs> literally coming there with like some arm bands Ooh, deep day to day no I'm just saying but yeah that's what it is I respect you know? that so I, I you know like I literally stayed up like at, uh, at, at 12 o'clock. I never got the text for a Jesus plug, you know, oh. from Prince, because Prince just like spams all of us, you know, like uh -huh. boom. So I got the text for, for uh, um, Don't Forget to Pray. So I stayed up mm. all night just to hear that. And then you started rapping in vernacular. Mm. I was like, yo, this dude can do it. Yeah. That's it. I was then, I'm like, yo, I was <laughs> expecting to hear more of that, you know, I mean, social media went crazy. I mean, at that verse, I, just <laughs> I think that's one of the hardest verses of the year, man. The, the, you have never been in a conversation like that before, in yeah, all yeah. honesty. Yeah, yeah. Until that verse. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> so why I didn't mean, we get more of that? I mean, there is more, but I, I plan to bring up more. It's mm. just, you know, it's what the vibe was on, on Be Careful. Yeah. You know, I think every song on Be Careful couldn't be like a trap vibe, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, and that's not what we really wanted, you know? But I think... There's more of that in the future, you know? Yeah. You never know. Or, or, or he might never do it again. And y'all yeah. gotta just enjoy that. For that. And that is it. You yeah. know, that's that's how it is. Like, there's no, there's no, th I'm not saying there's no yeah, thought process, but it's like, yeah. just instinctive. What should we do now? This sounds like a good idea now. Let's do this. Because I do all sorts of different things. Mm. Like, I was like in New York just DJing for four hours. People don't even know that. Like, mm. that's the sort of vibe. Yeah, you never know. I might just drop like instrumental album, the jazz album. Your life, your life is too <laughs> private. You know, you just never know what's going to happen, man. It's just like boom. Yeah, but it's a wave, you know. I just gotta ride the wave. Um, you, you, you've got a, you've got a. Just off the conversation I'm having with you now, and I think all the time I meet you, there's something, there's this peaceful vibe, this Buddha vibe. And this is Buddha vibe. <laughs> yes, this <laughs> is what you say, you know. I mean, <laughs> but like, there's, 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 a, there's almost like a discipline and, and a maturity um, beyond your age, you know, that I always get from you, you know. And I always ask myself, is that really who he is, or is he putting up a front, you know? But I, I get that from you, and I'm really interested to understand what are you reading, um, or where you getting the, where you getting this source, this yeah, information where you from? This source, well, like if you really want to know, I'm actually like way hardcore, like behind the scenes yeah. in terms of like how how strict I am with like the health, how I'm always telling you know like my mates and them like yo guys, you know this is really not the vibe. Don't eat red meat. Don't eat processed yeah, products. I stopped blah, blah, eating blah, blah, blah. red meat on this album. I still don't eat red meat. You know, like it changed. I don't eat th red meat. Like anymore. those sort of things, like. But he's really not going to take me to know all that vegan, you know, I respect yeah, it and I understand it, but I'm sorry. I can't you know, but it. that's like really what my life's about, like on a, on a serious note, you know, yeah. just every day trying to become a better human being. Yeah, you know? I mean, it's crazy. That's not a front, like that's my real private life. I, I'm <laughs> assumed that's because I don't know you, right? Because you, know, you, you I'm are just really inviting people into, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've always assumed that, but I've always said, I don't know if he's putting up a front though, you know. No, you know, you trust me, we get lady, outside, like, you, know, you know what I mean? We still get lady. I think, you know, the most important thing, you know, being a human being is that you can't really stop yourself from, you know, the, the central pleasures of being a human being. And that includes like, you know, going out and, you know, having fun and that sort of thing. It's not like I don't do that, mm -hmm. but I just, you know, I enjoy like being healthy, you yeah. know, making where does, smoothies, it where does that making come juices. from, bro? I just being in LA, like, you know, being around people who are vegan and vegetarian, you know, mm -hmm. even 
people like ASAP Rocky's manager who I used to chill with through Joseph I like all of those guys they're vegetarian and vegan mm. like you know we go have breakfast and things like that and that's like everyday life you know mm, mm. go to sh go shopping at Irwan you know get get tonics and you know all sorts of like shots you know yeah I'm more for the the chicken breast yeah, I the don't honey mustard. I don't mess with that. I, I, I'm, I'm too black. I, I'm, I've tried to cut on the red meat, but try. But let me tell you something. Try. You know, I thought to myself, like, man, I love red meat. I can never, ever, ever, ever do it. And then I did it, and I feel a thousand times better. Mm. So you know, at least that's that's the type of album we made. I, I'll, you know, I'll, we learned. It a just lot puts from you each on other, a different, you know? like, you know, wavelength. Like, yeah. you know, not consuming meat. And yeah. I'd, 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 I'd definitely jump in for the, I'd eat the fish, I'd eat the chicken. I don't even eat fish and seafood. Chicken, and don't even fish and, and chicken, bro. Yeah. Oh, it's tough, man. <laughs> when it's I eat, when I, when I eat vegetables only, my body huh? goes, that's not, that's not the, that's not no, the family No, because let me tell you, that's, because it's a my shock. just like. Yeah, because you shock, because you have, like, it, you, not, not to say it in a bad way, but you have, you have all these toxins and things, so it's a shock, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, the first time I had, uh, a, a cold pressed juice which had the nutrients of like one kilogram of of vegetables in it like i was like yo why do i feel like this it's like you know and that's a good feeling because that's how you're supposed to feel like you can get real natural energies from you know fruits and vegetables see that food that girl is making an excuse you see this shit is making me sick y'all let's get no. back to the beat <laughs> all right cool um Angels, I, I think I think your verse on Angels throughout the whole album, I think that's your strongest verse on Angels. Oh, that's um, my favorite verse, though. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, really. I mean, I know you're not on Twitter, but like you know, this you, you from from the AKA um, on your first album and even on your second album, um, where you were really song orientated, um, but you were also very rapping. You were still rapping hard, you mm -hmm. know. Um, this is not one of your albums where you like rap really <coughs> hard like mm. like 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 your previous projects so even like i saw someone tweet that yo we want the aka you know that you know the aka from levels that raps you know yeah but on the aka from the levels they were asking them from the aka for it's alter ego yeah, so yeah. they always people yeah. are gonna always ask for this that uh, you know the, uh, like i said you know I, I you like the verse and that's dope and, and that's cool but the truth is i don't i don't have to prove to anyone i can rap it's like a, that's like a that's like a ridiculous thing for me to even, if, if I even thought to myself, man, I got to prove to people that I can still, or I oh, man, I got to prove to people. I mean, what have I been doing for like five years, six years straight, seven years straight. So for me, I just feel like when people say, oh, AKA, I wish you would. So that's great. I also wish for a lot of things. Mm. I wish upon a star. <laughs> I wish for world peace. <laughs> I wish that, you know, yeah. I wish I was a little bit taller. Yeah, I wish I, wish I was, was a baller. baller. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a girl. And if I did, I would call, call her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Everybody yeah, wishes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, that's Angels like, though. Um, that's my joint, though. Thank you. Know you. Know what I mean? that, that's my joint. You know but just I mean? also say, like, I, I rapping is too easy for me. Mm. It's too mm. easy to rap. Mm. It's hard to sing and make a song, you know. People like to give pop pop music a bad name, but you go and try and write a Katy Perry song. Mm. You go do it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Go do it, mm. and mm. come back and let me hear mm. your your Katy Perry pop song. Let me yeah. hear it. Yeah, that is the hardest thing to do. So you know, for and that's me, rappers just rappers. People also, I said, yeah. you y'all can rap the whole day. You know, y'all can rap even when you're not on the beat, and someone gonna say you're dope. Yeah, I'm try, not, yeah. Try, yeah. Make, try make a hit song. Yeah, for me, rapping these days is just about like showing people or how good and how awesome I am. There's no like, it's just like flexing. It's like wearing a nice jacket. Yeah, that's what yeah. it's like for me. Yeah. However, songwriting is like yeah. trying to dig deep and like grow as an artist, trying to push myself, and that's what I enjoy doing. So you say ego? That's the root of all e evil. Either I can ball or I can hire more people. Which that's a powerful line, by the way. That's that's for me. That's I'm always just thinking that it's cool. We got money. It's cool. You can do whatever you got to do with money in in mm -hmm. this world of ours. But we got to also use our money to and use power. our influence to to, yeah. to, to help yeah. to to open doors because yeah. we can keep our money to ourselves. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. I asked myself. I mean, is that even a from from a beam perspective? You know, is that is that Definitely. the headspace basically? Definitely, man. I could have bought, you know. If I if I if I get rid of all the people that work for me, I could buy like 
a crazy mansion, crazy Lamborghini, mm. watches, chains. But How that many shit doesn't. Do you have working for you, brother? Twenties, twenty something. Yeah. Fifteen to between fifteen and twenty-five, yeah. something like that. Prince gave me a shot and he said, "Yes, yeah, look, it's real. It's out here. You know, <laughs> we we giving these niggas pay slips." <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you I are F, no, I no, but, but the, that that yeah. that line really <laughs> means means deeper than uh, the deeper meaning of that line is that I'm not validated by material things. I like mm. nice things, but my character and the things that I enjoy are not things like watches and cars and things like that. I enjoy taking care of or, or giving an opportunity to somebody who's my friend or make letting them build their own business mm. or you know that's that's just the person i am i just feel like rap and one of the main things i felt feel about this making of this album that we want to demonstrate or i want to demonstrate and say is that you know a lot of guys have forgotten what this is about mm, it's about the music a lot of people have forgotten what this this why we started why we got this god-given gift to make music god gave us this gift and you know, I just see a lot of guys too worried about uh, the clothes or the cars or the watches, the girls, all that stuff. Mm. I think it's at its highest level now where people are most worried. In South African hip hop, right now, people are most worried about those things than they've ever been. Mm. Because, you know, we're getting more money than we've ever gotten. Mm. But people are really, the emphasis is too much on mm. that. And we're trying to say, hey guys, you know, don't forget it's about this. And, you know, people haven't forgotten because the music is really connecting with people. That's why we're successful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think I'm going to listen to the album again when I drive out of here. <laughs> this is, yeah, you should. This, 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 this is the type of interview that you go, yeah, I, I heard them say it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And define the cu from, from both of your perspective, in today's time, what are culture vultures? You, you got a line about that also on, 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 on that. Oh, uh, I'm talking about, you know, just brands. People, yeah. brands who just want to like, you know, from about a corporate brands. perspective, yeah. you know, they yeah. just want to behind the scenes. Yeah. yeah, they just want to like date for the night. They don't want to get married. Mm. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, talking about oh, we just do oh, let's do the quick little, Campaigns you know, campaign mm -hmm. little mm -hmm. little one week campaign. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no, no. It's either it's we got to do like two year, three year, yeah, type yeah. of thing. Yeah. You know control. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah control. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just talking about people just using hip hop as a medium. You know, like. I nearly said the brand's name. Ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> 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 like you know, um, just 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 taking taking artists for granted, and you know, I still see it happening now with guys from overseas, and mm -hmm. you know, you know, and just even in South Africa too. Yeah, no, especially that's what, especially yeah. in South Africa, yes. people just taking the juice and yeah. using it to sell their products, and mm -hmm. and especially with what's happening with the copyright now. Mm -hmm. What what's yeah. what is happening with copyright? So yeah, they're trying to change the mm -hmm. um, the law right yeah. now. What's the law? Um, basically, basically, what they're taking saying. Away the, they're trying it, to take away. You want to say that? Yeah, go ahead. No, you say it, bro. No, you say it. trying to take away what? <laughs> trying to take away the rights, bro. For of what? For composers for and composers. Authors. What do you mean rights? I can't take my rights. Yeah, no, because remember, because they owe so much money to artists and composers. Who? Samro? No. Um, the, some, some, some of the stations. So take, for instance, if I'm a channel, I'll, even, I'll use myself in this, as an example so nobody catches feelings because they're always catching feelings when mm -hmm. I talk. Um, um, so like, you give me your song, Slick on Life. So let's say, you know, when the guys want to do the download, I, I literally have an agreement to say with Capasso that allows me to kind of like do the download. If the artist is signed to you can do the download. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So essentially, I, I have to pay them a percentage of some sort. Yeah. So what they're saying, they're saying, Slick on Life now has the right, right. to actually be a shareholder in in your in song, that, in, in, that in that composition. the composition, basically. So now all the broadcasters now, they can use your song for television, they can do whatever they do, they'll all have the right, basically, to, th th they are part of the share if they used your song. And if you give... What do you mean they are part of the share? So they're the collecting, they need to so they're pay. collecting, so they're going to collect royalties of the artists like they made the songs? And the, yeah, they're going, they also, yeah, they're also getting a cut. How, when is this going to happen? It's going it's on, right? They this they is what's happening. Right? Yeah. No way. Yes. Yes. Is it gonna, do you think it's going to happen? Because remember, they talked about all oh, the advertising for alcohol. Trust me, man. Somebody's going to save us. Who's going to save us again? Don Laga. Somebody get Don Laga on the phone, man. Get Don Laga on the phone, man. He be that Laga. He be that Laga. Yeah, this is very serious. The problem with this, this is that, like, you know, you're going to have to pay the royalties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is very serious. The problem with this is that, like, when you talk about these things, and 
you see, I know that like you're always supporting leadership and everything else, but you see, my big reason why I don't fucks with politics specifically, I um 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 align myself with government. I said it to yeah. to to the yeah. guys around the table. I said it to to um to the guys that were running city of Joburg or the ANC mm -hmm. when they, I said it around the table. They even come up to me and say, "That shit you said, man. We still." But I told them the truth. I said. I know you want to build houses. I know you want to, you say you want to build houses, but this is what I want to do. I want to build a platform and yeah. I want to build things that allow that that young people want to work yeah, yeah. in. Yeah. I want to create environments where young yeah. people go like kids want to work at Beam, you know. I mean a, a kid would want to be an accountant at Beam before they want to be accounted at Standard Bank. Right. Just keep it 100. Yeah. You know what I mean? Why? Because that's what that's what they grew up that's what they yeah. grew up around yeah. and it's so cool to see the guy that you were listening to as a kid, like actually taking it to the other level, right? Mm. But we don't have any attachment to the brands that are global because we don't know who started them. Mm. So my thing, I'm always saying to leadership, I'm saying, why don't you guys actually like um, develop and help us to build? You see, Mnet take for instance, and uh, you know I have to name them, Mnet. I'm not taking anything from them, but they're employing hundreds and hundreds of black kids and thousands of black kids. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because the apartheid government invested in, in Af Af Afrikaners' vision to build something that will become a content hub. Right. And that is helping us now. Right. But I'm yeah. saying democracy, where's the leadership for us to create things like that? So yeah. we're not looking for, don't tell me to go build a manufacturing factory. Yeah. I'm telling you right now How that do start a, we, don't a have, we don't have a touring circuit. Right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We don't have, like they need to bring in those venues. The brands right now, like 80% of the people that are doing the marketing, it's guys from who don't, who don't know what it's like to be. Yeah, because they can't relate. They don't. They, they, they can't relate. That, but let me that's, ask that's, you a that's question. That's why is me. about ideas, not about what people are going through. Because the people that have ideas are not living where people are actually living. So let life. me ask you a question. Right? Yeah. So we're talking about this copyright thing, right? Mm. So in, 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 in terms of Samro, right, you could get, what, two payments a year, mm. right? Um, in terms of record sales, let's say you sell 40,000. Uh, what's gold? We we get what's four? platinum now? Oh, it's four times a year. Two, it's actually two times a year payment. It's, it's two, so it's, 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 like, it's, like, it's like start of the year and, and, and like September yeah. and like March. March. It's like March and September. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yes, I've gotten great checks from Samro, but you know, I suppose it is the principle, but at the end of the day, like laws get made. What are you going to do? What are you gonna do? But you, this you can only do. You can only do what you can do. But you understand but what I'm saying? But here's what we can do, though. And I mean, I I I, I, I mean I mean, like, what happened to Fismas for? All the marching we did, all that. Well, what has happened? But we don't even know. We haven't seen it yeah. in the news for ages. But but, but you know why? Um, and and he, here's a sad reality. Whether we like it or not, this is one thing that we got. And you know, once you understand how small you are, that's when you start doing smaller things and stop looking outside in the world. Yeah. This is how small black people are in the power of changing things. You can march all you want, but if you don't have the money to support that, yeah. it don't matter. Yeah. There are organizations So you can only march for a few days, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. people like people that are marching, like they're hungry too. You know what I'm saying? They need something it to drink like while they're marching. Let me give you know an example. They're missing, you, they're missing school, Jews. they're missing, oh. you know what I'm saying? You've got something like SPCA. You know, right. shout out to what they do. Yeah. SPCA, they just taking care of dogs, bruh. Literally, True SPCA, with, I don't know how, who keeps on funding <laughs> them and how they're making them. their money. Yeah, right. But SPCA is taking care of right, dogs, bruh. Right, right. And that's a so, it's almost like a social, maybe it's not a social thing, but it's yeah, still yeah, like yeah, yeah. helping it's an service. animal. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. service, right? Yeah. There's a bunch of things like that that are taking care of things that are not humans, which are constantly going right. you're telling me like the aa like the aa you're telling me fees must fall is a real thing that involves people that thing was gonna yeah, die that's crazy. and other things a lot of other things that black people do die and yeah. i keep on saying you know what it is also it's because poor people can't help poor people yeah. poor people cannot make poor people because another thing about poor people when they get hungry they turn against each other also so that's the challenge. So I keep on saying, all of us who are in a position where we go, we got a little money here, we got a little move. That's why we all got to get together because we the guys that have the power to make things happen. Yeah. I got to find out about this copyright thing, man. Yo, let's get into the music. What, I wonder what is, what's, what's going serious, down. Bro. Is it serious? Yeah, we've been on it's it the real, whole week. It's real, it's real. Oh, yeah? It's serious, bro. And, and you know what? Y'all tell me about this shit, man. 
Well, well, you, 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 well, well, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, we weren't discussing it on Twitter. <laughs> but sure. but it's it's real. It's real, and and I feel that like if you are if you minister of arts and culture, if you if you yeah, really care, you up. should be saying no, 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 not for not 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 not, not on our watch. Just we won't let that happen to yeah. our artists. We won't let that happen to our creatives. I said you need to get Don Lager on the phone. Hey, Don Lager can be lucky once. <laughs> That's because there was crowd. You know what I mean? Um, Jesus plug. Um, Y'all guys drop that on, on beats. W what does that even mean? It means Jesus is my plug. Yeah, Jesus. It's like, um, it's just a song to like, say thank you for all the blessings we have. You know, it's just cool. It's like, we like to juxtapose things between, like, you don't expect to hear the word Jesus. Mm. Like, yo, that's, oh, he's the Jesus plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds yeah. cool. It's, it sounds like yeah. a cool name for a song, and it's got a cool message. <laughs> Sorry, I just remembered something Scotty Camp used to have. We used to have the Jesus juice, you know, oh, when man. it's time to do your mix and all that shit. Oh, but in, that's, a <laughs> that's blasphemous. Y'all guys are using it the right way. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, the Jesus juice, like, uh, on, on the channel. <laughs> yeah. That's, you know, oh. when you're mixing this shit up, you know what oh, I mean? You know, right. gotta make it heavenly. Oh, you know okay, what I mean? Right. The Jesus juice. <laughs> yeah, there's Jesus juice on this album, though, sprinkled all on the album. All on the album. And yeah. So, th is, 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 is there, is, I mean, obviously, it's Jesus. Um, it, that, that links to Christianity. Is, is, is that both the headspace? Um, well, no, I, I really uh, said, I had my vibe, you know, my vibes are like, you know, Deepak Chakra, but it's really just telling people that, you know, it's not really. Uh, heavily based on you know Christian faith, it's really just showing people yeah. about spirituality. Yeah, you know and, what I'm and saying? no being, honesty. Yeah. Being open to to the fact that you know God is within. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what it's really about. All right, cool. I mean, I think this album is is, is really going to grow. It's going to get legs just from the reception already. Um, it's it's been it's been received pretty well. Um, the only the only thing that I asked myself is that like, um, how does AKA now is AKA going to drop an album, yes. you know, um, and how does the possible power of this collaboration and the songs in it, how does it, um, can, can it dilute the AKA brand and can it also like get to a point where Anati's like, you know, Anati's AKA's producer. Oh, no. Do you guys think about those things and, and, no. and how do you think that? No. We don't, we don't overthink those things. Mm. I, I feel like, um, I've had. This 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 year alone, yeah. Um, and the world is yours. And Kaifa's song as my own songs. Mm. I've done a lot of features. I've done a lot of music. Mm. And for me, this is 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 what I've been working predominantly on this year. And yeah. you know, we've, I've put all my energy into. So that's where my mind is. Yeah. Um, but as far as dilution and all of those things, I don't think about those things. I just make music. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Yo, man, I my time. That's really all that I wanted to say. Yeah, that's just the interview. You know what I mean? That it's was the dope. interview, man. I loved it. It was dope. Um, uh, I like I said, I'm gonna go back in the car and listen to this. Yeah, album you gotta bump and, the album, man, and, and, and you know, uh, and just get into it. You know what I mean? Thank you very much for all the support Can you to all the people out there in in Twitter land and Insta land and social land. We just want to say. I feel your vibes, I feel your energy. And, you know, I, I might not see what everybody's saying to me every day, but when I'm on stage, I do feel it. So thank you very much. What it's you got a vibe. to say? It's a vibe. Broadcast live.